Hi friends! Today is going to be my wrap up for the month of July. Much like June, I didn't read a whole lot in July. I actually think I read less in July than I did in June. I read three books by three new authors, two of which have been on my shelves forever. Like they are books that BookTube was raving about before I got here four years ago. So it's been a little overdue, but I got into some new series and I'm enjoying them. So let's talk books. As I said, I read three books this month for a total of 1,010 pages. Not a whole lot, but three books, I'm using it. I had no DNFs, no rereads, and everything that I read was a four star or higher. So it was a really good reading month, despite the fact that I didn't read a lot. As always, I will start with the lowest rated and work my way to the highest rated. And the first book that we're going to talk about is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. As I said, I'm pulling into the booktube past and pulling some books out. And the first is part of the Grishaverse, which now is known as the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Like it's been so long, they've changed the name of the series. This book follows Alina, who is a soldier and an orphan. And she was raised in an orphanage, uh, not really an orphanage, but in the home of a lord of the area where they sent the orphans. And in the orphanage, she had her best friend Mal, and he also is in the army with her. And it is discovered that she has a power that she didn't know that she had. And the powerful people, the people who are empowered, have magic, let's go with that, in this series are kind of separate from everyone else. And they follow a different leader and a different set of rules, though their leader does follow the king. It's a thing. So the leader of this world is the Darkling and the power that Alina has is something that has not been seen for a really long time and something that they need to defeat a big enemy of theirs. And the book follows Alina kind of learning how to use her magic, how to figure out how it works, why it works, why it took so long for it to manifest itself because normally it manifests in your early childhood and she is a teenager and follows her journey of discovering herself and who she can trust in this new world with her new powers. I gave this a 4.25 out of 5 stars. It is kind of hard to talk about what I loved about this without going into spoilers, so I'm going to say as much as I can, which is not going to be a lot. I really liked Alina's character and her relationship to Mal. I liked her character growth. I think that she had some great character growth from beginning to end, and not just character growth mentally, but physically as well. I think that she kind of learned to come into her own and also was able to overcome some obstacles that she had maybe not the most conventional way, but was able to do so. I think the Darkling is a very interesting character. Um, I, I've heard people talk about this series and these characters for a really long time, so I kind of have ideas of like what may or may not happen. Like I vaguely have recollections. Please don't spoil it for me because I know that there's, I don't know everything, but I, I know that there are things that I know that someone who had read this as they came out wouldn't know. I knew that like the plot twist was going to happen at some point, but I did not expect it to happen like 40% into this book. Um, it threw me for a loop. I really wasn't expecting it to hit the way that it hit. Like it just came out of nowhere. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? Um, it kind of like reversed all of my thinking, which I, t to say that it threw me for a loop is weird because like I knew at some point that it was going to happen as I said, because I've heard things over the years. So like I knew that this thing was going to happen, but I didn't know how, and I didn't know how like intense of a scene it was gonna be. And it just fucking happened. And then you're just like, what the fuck was that? And it was awesome. I loved it. One of the best plot twists I've ever seen because I knew it was coming and it still blew me out of the water. Like what the hell? I, I loved this magic system. I think it was very fast paced. It had a lot of action her the second book is not to be said the same. So I'm kind of nervous about that. But I really enjoyed this. I think it was a really fun ride. I really enjoyed it. I just said that. Obviously, that means I enjoyed it a lot. I've said it three times now. And I'm hoping to pick up the second book in the series later um, in August, hopefully. Though it doesn't really fit for my readathon, but we'll see. In the same vein, the next book is A Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Again, 
going way back in time to the beginning of booktube and beyond and pulling this baby out. This book follows two characters, Laia and Elias. Laia is part of a community that is considered inferior in this world and she is basically lives her life in fear knowing that at any point in time the ruling people of this world can come and just basically destroy her life and that is exactly where the book starts out at. The book starts out with the people of the ruling class, the ruling populace coming and um, basically destroying her family in one fell swoop and she is able to escape what happens to them and she knows uh, that there is this resistance of people like herself who have been trying to fight against the ruling people. And so she chooses to try to seek them out and get help to save her brother, who was kidnapped during the whole ordeal with her family. And in order for them to help her, they want her to go into the household of one of the ruling people as a slave. And she agrees to do this but she's a very scared timid shy person and so she takes this journey on knowing basically that she's only doing it for her brother and that is the only thing that gives her strength throughout and the other character that we follow is Elias and Elias is part of the ruling people and he is a mask which is a group of people who basically are trained from a very young age to do nothing but kill and he's getting ready to graduate and he's getting ready to be like one of like the greatest masks of all time as they do and he's got plans up his sleeve as well and the book kind of follows these two characters growing from who they started out to who they need to be for the world to be a better place if that makes sense. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I think this is this book reads to me as like a master class on character growth and also action scenes. The way that Laia and Elias grow throughout the book is intense. Just so much character growth. Not only um, just from, from the things that happen to them throughout the book, but also um, the things that happen to each other. Like the things that they will do for one another if you get what I'm saying. I really liked this world building, this setup. I liked the aspect that people are not always what they seem and that there are definitely people in this book that I want to see more of in the future and kind of figure out their characters a little better um, because maybe not everything about them was exactly what we think it's going to be in the future. Um, I had some ideas about some plot twists and I was kind of right about them. There's some things going on that I wasn't really sure what was going to happen and the way this book ended I am super excited to read the next book. Again, going to try to fit this in in August. Um, just really, really, really enjoyed it and super excited to continue on with the series. The next book that I'm going to talk about, I'm not going to talk about a lot. Um, I would advise you to see my full review on Goodreads which as always I link all of my full reviews on Goodreads in the description box below if you want to know more. Um, sometimes I put spoilery thoughts in there so if you want to know how I really felt about a book and you want to know if like I had the same thought you had at a spoiler moment that's the place to check. They'll all link down below. Um, the final book that I read is The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan. I gave this five out of five stars. This book to me is like poetry because it did have some fiction but also some nonfiction, and so I rated it the same as I rate poetry which is um, did it make you feel something and it definitely did. <laughs> it made me feel a lot of things. So uh, my favorites from this were Challenger Deep and Song of the Special. So Challenger Deep was fiction and Song of the Special was nonfiction. And this book, if you do not know, is a collection of work by Marina Keegan who tragically died a few days after graduating college and she was just this very vibrant full of life person. She had these writing things that she had done, um, essays, short stories, things that had been published and her friends and her family uh, kind of got together her professors. Um, there's a forward from a professor from college and an afterward from a high school teacher. Um, it's just it's beautifully done. Her writing was very beautiful. I, I highly recommend that if anybody if you like both short fiction or essays, highly recommend this collection. It is very well done and I was very happy to pick it up and to read it and to sob. So there's that. Again, 
more in my full review. So those are the three books that I read in July. If you have read any of these, let me know in the comments below how you felt about them, if you liked them, if you didn't like them. Um, let me know if you've read either um, An Ember in the Ashes or Shadow and Bone, the whole series. Which book of the series was your favorite? Because I like to know how my favorite stacks up with everybody else's favorite. So let me know which book of the series was your favorite, which I know there's still another Ember in the Ashes book coming out later this year, I think. Um, so I don't know, that may be your favorite, but we don't know it yet, but what's been your favorite so far? Also, those two authors were on my list of authors that I wanted to read by the end of 20, well, 2019, but then got migrated to 2020. So I'm happy to get those done and out of the way um, and that I enjoyed them. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!